On this episode of Delivering Marketing Joy, we talk with Cola Savek, and she teaches us a new term, swagasm. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. I am your host, Kirby Hossman, and joining me today is not only a rock star, but a rising star, Kola Savek, the Soul Train Conductor from Soul and Swag, which is an amazing title, by the way. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to, you know, chat some swag today with you. I love it. I love it. So, you know, I kind of alluded to it. You were recently named a rising star in the uh, promo industry. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm always curious about these kind of awards. Was, it, was that something that you wanted? To, how does it affect your business, or or does it at all? Do you think? Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. I never. I had no idea I had been nominated for it. Um, Mark Graham was the one who nominated me, and then reached out. My mom and I are in business together, and so reached out to her, and she kind of helped him answer some questions and stuff like that. So. I was totally shocked when I got the email. I actually told my mom, I'm like, hey, I got this email. And she was like, oh, congrats. And I'm like, you knew about it already. <laughs> like, yes. And then same with our team. They all knew it was happening that I'd been nominated. And um, even to my fiance, I'm like, so I got this email. It's kind of, it sounds kind of cool. Like, I'm really honored to have it. And he's like, congrats. I'm like, you knew too? <laughs> Um, it was definitely something that I had no idea was going on. I guess we'll see how it affects our business. You know, there's so many amazing, brilliant people in our industry. I remember last year reading the article about the rising stars and Jason Lukash and Sarah Smith, some of these other people I knew had received it. Yeah. And I just thought that was so cool. I was like, gosh, I want to be a, I want to be a badass. Like I want to be awesome like them and, and really just doing things the right way, right? Yeah. Not trying to go out and win awards, but just doing business the right way, giving back to the community, doing things that then, you know, get you some recognition. But it's, it's like some other things we've received. It's a reflection of a lot of amazing people around me. So my name might be on the award, but it really go. It's a shout out to great supplier partners, great clients, a great team here. And it's just, it's so humbling and, and I'm honored to be a part of, of that group. I, I love what you said there because I think that's exactly a shift we're seeing is that we are starting to see awards recognize business done right. Mm -hmm. Like I think we're starting to value that more and that's I think that's a really good thing. Um, so, so congratulations. So oh, in, in doing my stalking of you as we started this uh, interview process, so on your website, you talk about a promo idea should be 75% incredible and 25% reckless. I love that. So talk to me about that. Why do you think that is? You know, I, I can't, again, own that, that line. I think it was actually Mark Graham who said that. And okay. then okay. it was right when we were getting ready to start our own business and going through some, some personal trials and things like that. And so my mom decided to use that on our cards. Yeah. And now yeah. it's just really become a part of who we are because it's, it's, you know, being completely thoughtful and respectful of things while also taking some risks, you know, and being bold and edgy and, um, you know, there's people in this industry that I've known since I was young and then others I've met along the way and really just seen what they're doing and trying to put our own twist on it. People you, you respect, you look up to. I mean, I've known Jason Lukash with Oregadio and Adam Walterscheid with T Tycoon for a long time. And I've, I've looked up to them so much and they do things that sometimes are a little risky or they're kind of like, Hey, if you don't like my stuff, then sorry, I think it's cool, you know? And so they just are, they're who they are and I respect that so much. And so we've really tried to do that. One thing we did with our t-shirts recently, I actually brought one to show you, is, um, so again, my mom's wonderful thinking, is the word swagasm. I know it's backwards, but it's using the word swagasm. A little ner Honestly, I was a little like, I love that, but I was a little nervous. I mean, 100%. we have we're in Nebraska here. So, you know, we have a mix of conservative people and, and nonprofits and a lot of that. And I was like, it's a little risky, but it's who we are. And people have loved it. And now they've used it. They've used it in reviews. They've used it to us. They're like, gosh, so in swag, they gave us a swag as a minute. I'm a thing. And so I think that's where it goes back to that saying of kind of being, being incredible, but being a little reckless too is that's okay. Sometimes it's got to have that balance. 
That that is a hundred percent incredible. Um, <laughs> so that's amazing. I, I'm so glad you showed me that. Um, so with your company, Soul and Swag, you have a monthly soul purpose. I, I totally love this. Um, can you talk about what this is for the audience and where this idea came from? Absolutely. So um, I had been in the industry. I grew up in and around the industry all my life. My parents had a distributorship and my dad still does. And so when I started working for them, it's been over six years ago now, I started to learn more about the industry and, and seeing all the great things about it. But I struggled a little bit about a year and a half to two years in with feeling like I wasn't making a difference. Like I was like, okay, I mean, the world doesn't end if I don't sell this pen today, you know? And so I was struggling with the, the community connection, the giving back part of it. And so when we started Soul and Swag, I knew from the get go, I wanted to, that to be something that we did. And so we kind of came up with it. We titled it Soul Purpose. And every month, our team, we get together and decide, what are we going to do this month? And some months it's, donating blood. Other times we've helped, um, there's been bad floods here in Nebraska. So a couple months ago we helped, um, a, actually one of our gals that works for us, her family had a cabin. We went out there one day and just cleaned and helped them all day long. So really it's a variety of different things. Sometimes it's clients, sometimes it's nonprofits, sometimes it's family. Um, so yeah, we've d donated different, really donating our time um, I think at SKU camp, the one year they talked about that is that sometimes you initially you don't have the financial means to go make $10,000 donations, but you still have time. And so we've tried to really make that important that every month we're doing something to give back to our community. We also have bartended. We're pretty good at that. So nice. we bartend at nonprofit events or things like that. So yeah, very important to us. And we try to do it at least once a month. That's incredible. Of, of all the stuff we've talked about, that's I, I think I admire it not only just because why wouldn't I, but the reality of it is you know it's something we've tried to implement, but I haven't been as consistent as you guys have, and I I think that's incredible. So, congrats. That's amazing. Thank you. And it is challenging. You have to really. It, it's like anything, right? Social mm -hmm. media posts, stuff like that. It it's not. You have to be consistent with it, and so we kind of just really tried from the get go of let's make a plan. And we don't like, we don't even know what we're doing for August yet, but we know what we're doing for September because of a client event. Right. So, and that's okay. We figure it out and we figure out some way to give back in some way. That's, so that's awesome. I admire it. it. Truly amazing. So good job. You've answered my three questions. I give everybody a chance to ask me one question. Do you have one for me? Yeah. So it's time to put you on the spot. <laughs> right. I'm just kidding. I love Absolutely. It. So, you know, in looking, I did my stocking of you as well. It was a two-way street. Um, but, you know, with your company, you guys offer quite a bit of services. Really, at Soul & Swag, we're really just branded merchandise. Right. But you guys do print in-house. You do the promo, graphic design to social media. What are some of the challenges that you face with having so many different offerings or services? And do you feel that maybe even in the early days or when you added a certain element, you struggled to execute it all for clients. How do you find that balance? Um, yeah, it's, it, first of all, great question. And yes, it's a continuing challenge, if I'm just being candid, right? Um, print is probably the newest piece where we brought, we bought a commercial printer and we're doing that in-house. And right now, it's funny, we had a staff meeting today talking about the things we're doing well and the things we're sucking at. Um, mm -hmm. And we're getting, you know, you're going all the way through the process and then this last step, we're not executing the way we want to. Um, so no, that's 100% a, a thing. And I find, you know how people, when they say they're trying to juggle, um, that's not an accurate depiction of what I do uh, because mm -hmm. that's way more choreographed. I think that <laughs> the, the plate spinning where, you, you know, you get it going and it's going yeah. good and then that one over there is wobbling and you run over there. Um, I think that's more of what I'm, I'm literally running back and forth a lot. That being said, what you said earlier is what rings in my ears is it's about having the, the, the right people on the bus. I mean, our the team mm -hmm. here I'm very uh, thankful for, and I'm just, they, they really make me look good most of the time, that, you know, we are able to try and do and execute on some of these things because we have people who are talented in place. And, you know, I'm just the mouthpiece. <laughs> you just a pretty face. <laughs> Mouth. <laughs> I did not say pretty face. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I'm sure it can be challenging at times, but yet you're trying to figure it out and navigate it. And it's it's such a, a fortunate thing to have a team that you can truly rely on and, and 
face challenges with. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Congratulations on being named a rising star, by the way. And and I think it's worth mentioning. I I didn't know where I was going to bring this up in the interview. So I guess now is when I'll do it. You're the first professional volleyball player I've ever interviewed. So that was, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. So. Well, thank you. Yes. I had a a brief uh, time playing professionally. I lived in split Croatia for three months back in 2013 and, and played a half a season there. And it was, I had the time of my life, and it was great. If I my body would have allowed, I maybe would have tried again for another season, but I'm glad I could be your first. <laughs> Amazing. There we go. Well, cool. Thanks so much for doing this. Okay, we'll have to do it again sometime. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Kirby. You bet. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. We'll see you next time. What's up?